Chicken Hawk Lab right now, what we're doing is we're planning our food menu. This time we're doing bulk rationing, which uh, we're not just creating a menu and you know, putting in ingredients, specific amounts. We are using an equation essentially to determine how much food we need, how much weight, like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, how many pounds per person per day, every meal, that sort of thing. And we're just doing the math, finding out exactly what we need, bringing it to reality. sure we have everything necessary for a 10-day trip and we're also making sure we have everything for our personal trip three days individual gear making sure everything works yeah just double checking it a couple times making sure we have it all stoves life jackets wetsuits just all the random necessary things you need for our canoe trip Trying to get a finalized route, and so if we just can figure out a good route that has no flaws on the first time, we're trying to cut out all that extra nonsense that they went through. No, no one has submitted a perfect plan yet first on the first try. I don't expect to get a perfect plan, but that's the goal, John, myself, and Tabor are setting for ourselves. We got this trip plan sent in. Ben's correcting it. Going 10 days out on Moosehead Lake. We're gonna do a lot of mileage. We're gonna do a solo on days six through eight where we'll be dropped off on numerous islands. Yeah, we'll be by ourselves making fires, eating, chilling. It'll be really cool, sweet time. Hopefully we see some moose. And uh, as you can see here, I'm a certified course completion to drive the vans. <laughs> The process has been very stressful. Just from Ben sending us on a wild goose chase, AKA we sent in the plan and he said, nah. So he sent it back and then we redid the plan, sent it in and now he's saying, yeah. Uh, this trip I'm on logistics, so planning out the trip in all of its entirety pretty much. Most of my job was doing directions and evac routes for the first like couple days. And then we started on like itinerary and route description. Uh, ripping some kayaks, eating some good food. Uh, five hour drive, but you know we're gonna get up early. So we are 
currently at Kenny Dock Road right here, which was our original put-in. But as you can see out here, it's uh, pretty windy and choppy. So we're gonna have to change our plans and either drive to a new campsite or hug the cove all the way up and hopefully everything's good. This day has been a little roller coaster. You know, we showed up to where we were gonna start kayaking and canoeing. The weather just wasn't working with us, so had a nice little wild goose chase of so just driving left, right, up, down, circles, trying to find a campsite, and uh, this is where we have showed up to. Traveled from Rockwood all the way up the coast. Did a little portage, did a lesson. Then we traveled about three miles up this shore. Now we're at Kelly's Wharf campsite. Me and a PB&J with chocolate strips. <laughs> Cold but worth it. Refreshing after a few days of no showers or anything like that. Coiling the rope, get in there in such a way that it'll come out nice um, and not all tangled. Throw rope, you would throw this to uh, a person who's drowning potentially, if they're out of reach. You throw the bag, hold the rope, they grab the bag and you reel them right back in like a fish. I'm excited for doing some kayaking lessons. Didn't think we would have time for it, but we managed to be really efficient today. So we're gonna squeeze them in. It's gonna be awesome. So we just got back from our hike up Mount Kineo, and now we're about to do some kayak lessons with Mr. Benjamin, Ryan, and Justin. Got on my wetsuit so I don't get too cold because the water's a little nippy. The challenge of the day is uh, we're fasting, so we're not going to have food in us. Patiences are already being tried. We're going to keep our cool.
was day six, we fasted yesterday, and now we're devouring hash browns, and it feels amazing. We saw a little bit of a sunrise. We're about to set off for our solos in like an hour or two. Solos are about finding a sense of place, testing all of your skills. Individually, there'll be no one in the group get your back. Well, So sweet, so sweet. So after we left the Narrows, uh, we began our solo days. We dropped people off along a coastline, and we spent that half, last half of a day, one full day, and another half a day by ourselves on these uh, in these different locations. We didn't get any filming in, but I mean that was part of it, right? If we had someone there filming us, it wouldn't have made it special. It's been a great few days. Here we are, working on some, some reading. <laughs> I'm cold. To find a reason why my mom is all gone. I got a Dalmatian, and I can still get high. And I can play the guitar. Jeremiah, give me a chord to play. Um, it's like we've been very good at cleaning the past two trips. We can kill this. D. C. C. We are about to have our evening meeting with our LODs over here being. Weird stuff. Ah, oh, it's not the right one. Great to see you.